up y'all welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to be showing y'all 10 ways on how to get over a breakup i actually wrote them down so i'm just gonna be reading them off to you um i'm kind of sort of like i don't want to keep saying like going through a breakup but i feel like I am low key like I'm recently single and uh like I just had a dream about him last night like why you keep popping up in my head okay like no but <laughs> yeah so I feel like you know um sometimes I do think about you know my last relationship in my past and whatever else and um so I just decided to make a list on how to um get over a breakup and i was like you know what i might as well make this a video so i can share this with y'all some of these things some of these things on here i do some of these things on here i don't do and i need to do <laughs> but um yeah some i do some i don't some i have done so yeah i'm about to just be sharing it with you so let's get into the very first one so this isn't in any order or anything but yeah so the first one i have on my list is to delete old pictures and messages um yeah so when my ex kind of like ghosted me and stopped talking to me and whatnot i definitely went through my phone and i deleted like the majority of all of our pictures and videos and messages and threads and all that i kept like two <laughs> because i was really cute in one picture and then the other one it was a video and i was really cute in it too so yeah um i didn't get rid of that those <laughs> but yeah the second one is to go through the pain think about everything by yourself it's okay to be sad it's okay to like you know gather all your thoughts together and think about the breakup because you know my break my breakup it wasn't that long but like for other people's i'm pretty sure y'all probably been with whoever for like years and years and years and when you're with somebody that long it really does you know affect you so it's okay to be sad you don't always have to put on a front and act like you don't care or you know i'm not hurt i'm not this and that because it's okay to be sad it's okay to think about the thoughts by yourself it's okay to cry in a room alone by yourself because i've done that i do that all the time like in a car sad songs all that <laughs> number three is to vent to close friends and family members because after you're done evaluating with yourself and you try to take it all in and you can't clear your thoughts and you're just you know it's always good to get a second opinion and to have somebody know what's going on that way they can tell you how they feel about it and what they feel very nice to have that person there for you that you can relate to or that you can talk to someone you trust you know what i'm saying that can just you know help you get through it <laughs> Oh, you're probably not watching this video but shout out to you ryan for being that friend for me that i can go to and get no biased opinions or anything and he just gonna tell me you know what it is and how i should react and whatnot and vice versa i got you ryan i got you <laughs> stay away from sad music um <laughs> i talked about this a little bit in my other video um it may or may not help honestly like because you know I like I've said <laughs> y'all if y'all didn't see if y'all didn't see that video I was just saying like how sad music and breakups don't mix because um yeah like I'll catch myself in a car crying you know thinking about my breakup or relating it to my personal life and my situation and whatnot or it can actually help you can hear a sad song and you'd be like you know what this is what I'm going through and I know not to go back. So it just all depends on how you look at the how you look at the situation and how you take in that song. So yeah. Stay busy, okay? Get back to your old hobbies or whatever you used to do before you met that person because in relationships you tend to, you know, some people tend to put their self on pause and you Focus on making the other person happy rather than making yourself happy that happens a lot in relationships so yeah if there's something that he wouldn't let you do because he felt insecure about it or whatever or you used to do before you met him but you stopped because he didn't want you doing it or whatever the case may be girl get back to you get back to what you used to do go back to finding yourself and who you were you know just get back to the old ways get back to your hobbies from your old days 
Uh, there's a song by Kalani. I don't even know it right now, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably get that reference if you know. Yeah. Get back to all my old ways. Trying to get back to all my hobbies from my old days. Trying to forget all the unnecessary feelings I had. Man, it was effing scary. <laughs> Go out and do things with your friends. Um... The, the one I said before kind of goes hand in hand with this one because it's like go out and do things that you want to do and then like, you know, don't be like in the house getting depressed and being depressed and whatnot and just feel like you don't want to do anything. If your friends invite, invite you out to an event, go to that event. Go and just just go. Go to get your mind off things. Go to get around your friends. Go to get around your family. Take your mind off of what you've already probably are thinking about because... You're going through a breakup. It's normal. <laughs> You're going to be thinking about it. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be sad. So if you can do anything in that moment to take your mind off of it, go and do it. This is a good one, okay? Because love is a crazy thing. And you might love somebody and miss them. But, you know, it don't mean that y'all got to be together. So um, remind yourself why y'all broke up in the first place. Because... That's very important. Sometimes you tend to forget that, but you need to remember that because that's why y'all not together. Why did y'all break up? Why aren't y'all together? What is the, the issue? What problems did y'all have in y'all relationships to where y'all couldn't be together and it just wasn't working out? You know, you just got to remind yourself every day, like, why am I in this situation? Does the good outweigh the bad? Does the bad outweigh the good? Where, where we, <laughs> where is this going? How, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about everything that happened. You know, sometimes you just, you know, got to be be smart and come back to reality and be like, you know what, this is why we broke up. This is this is why I'm not with him, okay? This is why I'm not with her, okay? Yes. Entertain other people. You do not have to jump into anything serious. Keep your mind elsewhere and let somebody else make you smile, okay? This is one of the things that I have been doing lately. Usually I'm like a... um a one woman type of man but lately I've been keeping my options open and I've had some good looking shorties hop in my inbox and I've been replying and whatnot so yeah like um you don't have to want just because you and your last relationship ended just because you're talking to other people and dating around does not mean that you have to commit to anybody because you don't have to be in a relationship with anybody unless you're ready to do that okay so if you want to you know entertain a couple of decent people here and there you can do that because why you're single and who knows that person could make you happier than the person you was just with honey you know what i'm saying keep a big smile <laughs> like this one right on your face like they could be doing more or doing just as much as who you was dealing with before but yeah let, let somebody else make you smile girl let somebody else take you out on a date let you see what you do like what you don't like what you starting to like because new people new relationships different everything everybody's different you know ain't nobody just exactly the same so yeah just just keep your options open keep a handful keep like five of them just sprinkle them all in <laughs> Get some closure if possible, okay? Depending on what type of person you are, you might or might not want, want this. Um, I actually have a story about how I tried to go get my closure from my ex. Um, I just got in my car and hopped and got on a roll and drove like four hours to get it and I didn't even get it. So if you want to hear about that story, let me know and I will make a video on that. But yeah. <laughs> Even if y'all don't let me know, I might, a video, might make a video, but just let me know. <laughs> um, yeah, so go get your closure if you can, you know. Um, people might not want it depending on how the relationship ends. You like, you know, F them or forget them. Like, I don't even want to talk to them anymore. But depending on, you know, how long y'all been together. Because, you know, after you're in a relationship so long, it becomes like a friendship. And it becomes really close and whatnot. So, you know, if you can get the closure, go ahead and get it if you want it. If not, just, you know, make your closure just like whatever reality is like if you knew it was he was cheating or he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do and it was just always some bs or something and you see it for what it is maybe then that's your closure but some people like me you know it'd be nice to have it especially when you don't expect somebody to act how they have acted
remind yourself that you are the shit okay you are that beat you are everything you are a wonderful person you only know how good you are and what kind of person you are so and that's all that matters you know so just remind yourself every day like you know i can find better i can do better i can do this i can do that just so you know you can feel better you know like you don't have to be thinking like oh is it me Am I the reason why this relationship isn't working or anything like that? Just, you know, hype yourself up every day. Remind yourself that you are that. You are that. You are the shit. You are that person. You are who you are. And you, you the best he ever had, okay? Like, and you, you the best he ever going to have, okay? You just gotta remind yourself every day. <laughs> yeah, so that pretty much sums it up. Those are the 10 ways of how to get over a breakup um i just wanted to share that with you i hope it helped i pretty much you know summed every one of them individually up but yeah if you like this video like this video if you want to see more of me don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for the notifications and you know talk to me if you want to comment go ahead and comment i am about to i think um go to the gym and whatnot so yeah um I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.